There are still countless objects, structures, and constellations in the universe that have so far successfully hidden themselves from the view of terrestrial research, while the discovery and subsequent deciphering of a new cosmic entity is always a formidable scientific challenge. It also always holds out the prospect of better understanding the universe as a whole. In today's video, you can find out about the mysterious discoveries that astronomers have made in the recent past and the details of these galactic finds. Excited about the spectacular discoveries and unique spectacles in the universe? Then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell for regular updates on these compelling topics. Show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Unknown Space Rock It has only been a few weeks since the roster of cosmic objects was extended by a further, up to now, completely unknown representative. Researchers succeeded in identifying a never-before-seen rock form that differs significantly from everything known in terms of its mineral composition. This exciting discovery began with a research study in which scientists examined 23 white dwarfs. As a reminder, white dwarfs are small, very compact stars that form when red giants deplete their nuclear energy reserves and shed their outer shells. The scientific objects of interest that experts studied in the course of their research are located within a radius of 650 light years around the Sun. Typically, the birth of white dwarfs is a spectacular cosmic event. When the larger stars die, from which the later white dwarfs are formed, they drag all surrounding formations into the trouble. Thus it happens that so many exoplanets have already fallen victim to an explosive stellar death. The fragments of these strange planetary worlds often accumulate in the atmospheres of the newborn white dwarfs. As a result of such processes, in order to determine the ratio of the elements in those same surrounding layers, experts analyze the light emitted by the small stars. From this examination of the brightness, experts in turn can conclude which mineral composition within the atmosphere has led to the recorded measurement data. In the course of this specific research study, scientists finally came to the conclusion that only one of the 23 examined white dwarfs contained the fragments of an Earth-like exoplanet. In the realms of the other celestial bodies examined, the researchers, contrary to expectations, came across spatial rock fragments that do not occur either on our blue home planet or in the other explored regions of the solar system. Since the corresponding rocks differ in their material composition from all known counterparts, researchers also introduced completely new classes for them. Compact Planet Eaters the process in which an exoplanet is torn apart by the immense gravitational field of a white dwarf is called a tidal disturbance. In the ranks of astronomers, the fragments of the celestial body, naturally produced, are then pulled inward and collected by the forces of the white dwarf, a process called accretion. Basically, the atmosphere of a white dwarf consists only of helium and hydrogen. If heavier elements can now be detected there on the basis of the examination of the emitted light, the conclusion is they originate from the accumulated remains of a disrupted exoplanet. Meanwhile, researchers assume that about a quarter of all white dwarfs contain the fragments of exoplanets. These star graveyards of the celestial bodies advanced in the recent past to a hotly discussed research topic. Then, in fact, within the framework of a more detailed investigation, it's possible for experts to draw important conclusions about the compositions and characteristics of those former exoplanets which were destroyed in the course of the development of white dwarfs. Exploration of the New Rock Form Within their research study, experts initially concentrated on the measurement data that had already been collected in the course of previous investigations of other white dwarfs. The corresponding data indicate the exact ratio of iron, magnesium, calcium, and silicon in the respective stellar atmospheres. The experts assume that the corresponding elements are comparatively abundant in the mantles and cores of terrestrial exoplanets. 
Based on the ratio of the element fragments identified in white dwarfs, scientists can therefore also reconstruct the original constellation of the substances within the former exoplanet. In the end, however, the result of this new scientific reappraisal will differ strongly from the study's hypothesis. In the case of our blue home planet, the rocks we find in the Earth's mantle are mostly composed of three different minerals, clinopyroxene, orthopyroxene, and olivine. In the case of the rock fragments scientists registered in the atmospheres of the white dwarfs, however, a completely different picture emerged. There were found mainly minerals that consist of magnesium-rich, paraclase, and quartz. Earlier researchers had assumed that the corresponding mineral composition of the exoplanets is to be compared with those of the inner planets of our solar system. Thanks to the comprehensive analysis, we now know that this is apparently not the case. The newly discovered minerals are now listed as paraclase dunites and quartz pyrozenites. At present, however, it is still completely uncertain how many different forms of these previously unknown rocks occur in white dwarfs. In order to draw a comprehensive picture, further investigations are essential. Seltzame Eggshell Planets in the past decades, experts have succeeded in adding more than 4,500 exoplanets to the star charts. While the search for unknown celestial bodies is always subject to the hope of discovering Earth-like, possibly even habitable planets in alien star systems, a look at the research results to date shows that quite a few of these distant galactic worlds differ drastically from our terrestrial home. Hot Jupiters, for example, are known to orbit their ancestral host stars at exceedingly close distances, averaging just 0.05 astronomical units. Those exoplanets, informally referred to as eggshell planets, are also among the breakthrough astronomical discoveries of the recent past. The name of these celestial bodies alludes to their fragile outer layers. In more detail, the brittle outer layer of a planet is called a lithosphere. In fact, some of these brittle lithospheres appear so thin on some exoplanets that they are not stable enough to support mountains. This circumstance therefore leads to the relatively smooth surfaces of the eggshell planets. Furthermore, it's also conceivable that the outer layers are not strong enough to produce the robust, dense plates required for plate tectonics. The corresponding tectonic processes on our Earth are in turn closely interwoven with the formation of mountains and, of course, continental drift. However, this missing characteristic has a direct influence not only on the landscape, but also on the potential habitability of eggshell planets. Planets. According to this, plate tectonics contributes, among other things, to the fact that certain minerals, which filter carbon from the air, are trapped inside our blue home planet. In this way, the content of the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is also regulated. If we take a look at our direct galactic neighbor, Venus, we see that a practically uncontrolled greenhouse effect is taking place there, which is not least responsible for the hostile climate on the so-called Earth twin. Whether plate tectonics is ultimately a basic prerequisite for the habitability of a celestial body, not even experts can say at this time. What is certain, however, is that the corresponding processes are undoubtedly conducive to a life-friendly climate. Search for Answers but which processes could lead to the strikingly thin lithosphere of eggshell planets? Possibly, the porous nature of the layers is related to the churning of underlying magma. Thus, it's conceivable that these subsurface processes steadily stretch the surfaces of the affected exoplanets and push them together again at other locations. So far, three strange celestial bodies have been found and thought to be eggshell planets. Although researchers are still far away from having deciphered all characteristics of these objects or to have reproduced their exact surfaces, it is conceivable that the corresponding planets show certain parallels to the constitution of Venus. There too, underneath the outermost surface layers are huge, boiling hot lava expansions which prevent the formation of high landscape formations. So far unknown is which affects other celestial bodies, as for example meteorite impacts or the attraction of moons, have on this exotic landscape. The impacts of galactic projectiles on many celestial bodies in our solar system lead to permanent changes of their surface in the form of craters or fractures. Although experts suspect that this is not the case for eggshell planets, many more investigations are needed to decipher this cosmic mystery conclusively. Scientists currently hope to be able to identify and unravel alien worlds in the future with the help of space telescopes. In any case, 
we are looking forward to the findings that will one day be obtained in this area. Now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on the newly discovered space rocks? And had you ever heard of eggshell planets before today's video? We're already looking forward to your comments. Finally, please have a look at the other interesting videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the thumbnails in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.